Boom! Yo, what's going on? You don't know the big man rice books live in the building one time for the one time can cool can crunch. Hello, welcome back to the kitchen. Hey, we got a nice session for you guys today. We're making fish water or fish soup or seafood soup. What we like to call it, but look, I like to call it a nice bubbling session. Hey, I must stay tuned for all the great ingredients that we're gonna give you guys in today. Simmer set. Okay, so what we have here right now, we have some, oh, well, main ingredients. We have some pompano and some grouper, all right? It's about three pounds of fish. Um, we have some shrimp. We have some bay scallops. We have some octopus. And of course, all the good stuff. We said we got some carrots, some ginger, some jalapenos, some green long pepper, some onion, some tomato, some garlic, some red pepper, some more green pepper. We get coconut water, coconut milk. We have some olive oil. Couple spices, you don't know, I, my favorite thing is sazon. Sazon is there. Then we have some garlic spice, some paprika, some um, rosemary, some parsley, some thyme. We got uh, a curry base I like. Um, I like to use is just pretty much curry and some water. This is the good stuff, we call this stuff provision. We have some yuca, sweet potato. This one is Korean sweet potato. Some regular Irish potato. And that's it, pretty much. We're gonna be good to go. Hey, y'all see all the ingredients? These ingredients here, right? Hey, this here is gonna be a nice bubbling session that we bought to throw down for today, for real. So I'm gonna start up the pot and we're gonna be all good to go. Oh, yes. <laughs> all right, so as you can see, I got all the good stuff in the back of me. I'm just gonna sit down uh, for a minute, let you guys know exactly what fish water is, right? So back home, basically it's called fish soup. Fish water just because of course the made water. And there's many variations of fish soup. And this is just my own little thing, my own little concoction I like to admit because this is stuff that I like. Uh, you can also substitute some of the ingredients that I didn't use for some ingredients that you might want to use in your particular um, dish. But in mine, hey, I like to have mine nice and sweet up and nice and chunky. And it's cool, I usually would use snapper, unfortunately, when I was there. Um, they didn't have any more snapper left, so that kind of sucks. I would have used uh, some sea scallops. Only thing about the sea scallops was, once again, they only had a few. So the best thing I could have did was um, just get a bay scallops and it has some bay scallops there. So calamari or octopus, you could choose to put that in yours. Um, shrimp, of course I love shrimp. I was going to put some conch, but I didn't have any conch. And um, I wanted to try to put some crab legs in it. That would have been nice. Just to like spice up a little bit, you know, because people like chunky soups, man. And chunky soups is it pretty good. Like, I hate those soups where now it just, like, it's just pure water. AKA fish water, AKA strong back soup. <laughs> Pot game hot up. You know, medium high, all that kind of stuff. Here we are. All right, so we're adding in uh, some uh, olive oil. This is, a, this is about a good five to six uh, tablespoons of oil for the amount of fish that we're gonna be cooking up today, you check. Just a little bit of onion, you check. Some red pepper in there. Some tomato. Some garlic. These jalapenos, so don't touch your eyes after this. And these right here is green lung pepper. And um, my favorite, haha, <laughs> ginger. All right, show you how we look inside the pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you like, that's what you like. That was, <laughs> whoa, that was a whole, that was a whole um, onion, a large onion. So we don't like to really throw everything all in at once, just kind of ease it in there. Like these carrots, carrots are cooked quick, so you'll wait for carrots a little bit later on. So here's what we left with. We're left with about a half of everything, you know, so pretty much just use a half of everything. Oh yes, listen. That's some good stuff. 
The provision you throw, you throw every, all, all of it in at once. Oh yeah, this is fixing up real nice. Take a look. I usually would like to season the fish, but I actually just like to use the seasoning within the vegetable. The fish going to egg. Once that the one, one pot of water that, 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 that's boiling, you'll feel it. So make sure you boil a pot of water, a full pot of water, and you have the fish. I don't like to season my fish. I like to season the vegetable because everything just going to break down. That first view was one thing. After you add in the seasoning, check out this view. Now we're cooking. <laughs> so, I'll just turn it up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now you could put a whole kind of coconut water, coconut milk in it, but it's just pretty much for taste. All right, so now this is where we're gonna add in our water at, right? I'm gonna put it in here. They come up to a boil, lay all our whole broth makeup, then we're gonna add in the fish. Okay, so that's the broth, right? Now at this point, if you don't want to use any type of fish, you could use chicken, you could use beef, you could use pork. At this point, this is the point where you choose to see what kind of meat that you want to use, okay? You could add anything else in there. Um, I had some curry broth earlier. Uh, I'm gonna also add that in here till the, the color gonna change. It's gonna spice it up a little bit. Hey. Mm, mm, mm. So at this point as well, you can add a if you want to add some more type of seasoning to it. You can put that in there. Whatever it is. Um, I for one don't like too much seasoning and stuff adding into it, but. Hey, this heck is about to be Bangladesh. It's time now to add in all the goodness. <laughs> yeah, check out this patty. Woo! The heck bubbling up nice. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna add in the scallops. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in the shrimp. No, I said now we're gonna add in the octopus. Hey, octopus sweet, you know. Okay, so with the fish, right? We just want to just lay it right across the top. First, the groove out. Don't this fish look like the fish on Spongebob? Hey Spongebob! <laughs> and the head. The head is the best thing. That's where all the flavor going to come from. Is this here. Put in the excess of the vegetables. So everything is straight into the pot, right? Um, as you guys can see. That's a good pot. That's how you do. But, the thing is, it's on high right now. Now I have to bring it down to simmer. Lay it for about 20 minutes or so, so the ah man, so the meat could come off the bone them, and then we that's how you know we in business, all right. So never try to cook on high heat. That doesn't work very well, all right. So I always make sure you turn your um, pot down to simmer, and then you're gonna be good, cause there's no rush on greatness. So I'm about to tell you it's gonna be right when the meat come off the bone. Check this out. That's good right there. That's what you call good old meat. That's getting right. So two more minutes and it's showtime. All right, so we're up to the last part of it. And this is where the lemon, the lime that comes in at, right? You don't have to add a lime to it if you don't want to, but this right here just gives it a whole different type of taste. Yo, so this is your boy Ross Books. Hey, just to finish in, hey, this soup here is up. You can smell all the essence and thing, man. This is straight from St. Croix, right here. Your boy Ross Books in the building. We vlogging out. Check out him on the next video. Hey, remember, share it, like, and subscribe. One time for the one time. Bangladesh. <laughs>